Hello from Doha, Adrian Finnegan here with the top stories on Al Jazeera. Twelve more bodies have been recovered from a river in the Syrian city of Aleppo. Just a day earlier, 22 corpses were found in the same river. Opposition activists blame government forces for the killings. India's Home Minister has admitted that the death of a high-profile prisoner was a major security lapse. Ram Singh is one of the suspects in the gang rape and murder of a 23-year-old woman last year. He was found hanged in his prison cell. More now from Al Jazeera Sahail Rahman in New Delhi. It was a judicial order that put Ram Singh behind bars while this trial continues. Well, suicide or not, it's the same judiciary and the authorities that will now have a very difficult task in trying to find someone who can lead a fair, free and transparent inquiry to find out what really happened to Ram Singh in Tahir jail. Two U.S. soldiers and at least two Afghans have been killed in the latest so-called insider attack. A man dressed as a police officer opened fire on U.S. and Afghan troops at a jointly operated base in the eastern province of Wardak. And a ban on large sugary drinks in New York has been thrown out by a judge a day before it was due to come into force. The proposal was aimed at tackling rising obesity in the city, but was challenged by the American Beverage Association and other business groups. The city of New York says that it will appeal against the ruling by the state's Supreme Justice. More on all those stories at aljazeera.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye for now.